sketchbook where I put all sorts of random ideas into it, little tiny drawings of characters and ideas for storylines and things like that. And on this one page in my sketchbook, there was a picture of a young girl holding a spanner and some other tools, and also a small little robotic baby. And an editor I was working with suggested we put the two characters together and maybe the girl had built the boy, the little boy robot. And then the idea sort of went from there. And then it became a story about a girl who's an inventor who doesn't like her baby brother, so she builds a new one. And it had to be called Robot. One of the most important things when creating a character is to choose something that's really unique about them. So they can be like the every kid, like Max is, just like most of us, uh, but there's something that makes them particularly interesting or unique. In Max's case, it's the fact that he knows how to make his friends laugh. He doesn't know what to do with that, but it's something that makes him special. Okay, so when you're drawing characters too, um, it's very important to think about the shapes of your characters. And there's three main shapes that we use when designing characters. The first one is a circle, the second one is a triangle, and the last one is a square. And characters who are mostly made up of circles and curves tend to look like very friendly characters, very approachable and fun and bubbly characters. Characters who are made of triangles and spiky shapes tend to look like they are more evil, mean, like they might be the bad guys in your story or the monsters in your story. And characters who are made of squares and heavy looking shapes tend to look like they are stronger, but perhaps a little bit more slow moving and a bit more slow witted. You don't have to draw the shape just as a tone with a little face. But if you look at your favorite characters, you might find that they're actually made of these shapes.